Watching Twitch actively destroy itself right before our very eyes has been fascinating to say the least. Now, Twitch has had a lot of drama going on just in the past month, but I want to focus in on the latest announcement that they have made that has sent the internet through the roof. Twitch removes its best paying revenue split for streamers, and they're not happy about it. And they shouldn't be happy about it. The Twitch streamers that are being affected by this should be furious. Every Twitch streamer should be furious at this. So let me explain what's going on. Uh, Twitch is essentially has this deal where if you're an average streamer like Geeks and Gamers, we have a, we are a partner on Twitch. You have affiliate program, which kind of pulls people in really quickly. You just have to stream for seven days, I think. I can't remember. It's really easy to get affiliate. At that point, you become affiliated and you can get bits and subscriptions. And it's a really easy way to bring people in early on, and then they can start earning revenue. The problem is, is that the discoverability on Twitch is impossible if you don't have a big following somewhere else. If you're not a big name somewhere else, growing on Twitch is damn near impossible. So you have someone like us who at least we have a decent following on YouTube and various other social media platforms. So we've done okay on Twitch. We, are, we have a partner channel over there, and we've done okay. We don't stream over there a lot, but we have a 50-50 deal with the memberships, and the vast majority of streamers have the deal that we have. But the top streamers, some of the big names, the names that you all know from Twitch, you don't think Geeks and Gamers when you go to Twitch. You think of Pokimane, uh, XQC, you know, Hassan, the big, big names. Those big names have a 70-30 deal that Twitch has, you know, worked out with them. And why? Well, because they generate the heavy majority of the revenue the the top percent you know it basically makes the majority of the revenue for them when you see uh, different games that aren't normally trending on twitch and you all of a sudden see that game uh, peaking at the highest viewed count in the search results it's mainly because there's a big streamer that's streaming that but if I go over there or if you go over there or if an everyday person goes over there you're not going to get any discoverability over there. That's just not, it's not beneficial to that. So now Twitch has decided, hey, instead of going with the 70-30 with every single streamer, we're just going to pull from our top streamers and piss them off and put them on the same level as everyone else on the platform. It was a massive mistake, especially considering that YouTube does have the 70-30 split, and that has been the standard for them. And now YouTube is obviously in, you know, really close competition now with Twitch in terms of the gaming space, and they have been making some gains on Twitch from the gaming live streaming aspect. Now, Twitch still offers, I think, a better user experience in the comment section, and that's it. Everything else on Twitch is terrible from a user standpoint, from a viewer standpoint, and from a creator standpoint. It's terrible. They can't compete with YouTube on that front, but the chat, which is very important to, uh, you know, from an audience standpoint, if someone is interacting with that chat, the chat on Twitch is great. Everything else sucks. The way they do ads sucks. I hate watching things on Twitch. It's really bad, especially on mobile. Sometimes it lags up all the time unless you're on Wi-Fi. Twitch is not a good experience from a user standpoint. Now you're taking your top streamers and you're actively pulling money away from them, only pissing them off. Now recently, uh, they did make a change to where even if you're a partner on Twitch, um, you can now stream on other platforms as well. There's no motivation to stay on Twitch at this point in time, especially with YouTube offering the 70-30 split and the fact that YouTube just overall has a much better experience from a creator standpoint and a user standpoint, except for the chat, of course. So there's no reason. There's no reason to stay on Twitch if you are a top streamer. Go to YouTube. But... I don't understand it. Maybe Twitch is just smarter than me, but I really don't think that's the case. I think that they have really overstepped, and I do believe that Twitch is now on the way of dying. They are on the way to destroying their own company, and they are in business with Amazon. How can you not figure this out? You've got YouTube, who's backed by Google. You've got Amazon. Uh, you've got Twitch, that's backed by Amazon, and you can't figure this out. And their blog post made no sense in how they were trying to explain this. It's truly phenomenal what we are witnessing with Twitch. Now, of course, I like I said, as a user, I don't like Twitch. And as a creator, 
I don't really like Twitch either. I would rather stream on YouTube, whether that's gaming or just a general live stream where I'm talking, you know, to my audience. I would rather do that on YouTube. And I think the most people in my world feel that way. But obviously you have massive, massive creators over on Twitch that pull insane numbers and you're pissing them off. The deal should have been that you go 70-30 for all creators. You work on making discoverability easier on Twitch for those smaller creators that are over there. Because again, you make it very easy to get affiliated. And that really gives a false sense of success to those small creators. And that's fine. It is what it is. But you go over there and it's easy to get that affiliate. And then after that, Unless you have a following somewhere else, you're not going to grow. You're not getting anything. You're going to be streaming for three people, five people, ten people, whatever, and you're not going to go anywhere because the discoverability is terrible on Twitch. Whereas on YouTube, the discoverability, the algorithm is far easier to be discovered, to find your audience, and to continue to have them returning to your channel, but it doesn't work that way on Twitch. So we're going to continue to pay attention to this, but I think that Twitch is in serious, serious trouble. Now I will give a shout out to Rumble. Now, first of all, let me show you. So this is our Twitch channel. Uh, we are partnered. And again, we try to stream over there occasionally. It's usually a mirror stream of, you know, another stream that we have uh, a different perspective or something like that, but we are over there. I think Rumble needs to take full advantage of this right now. Now I've been talking to Rumble. Um, I really like them. They're trying their best to up their game with the streaming side of things. And this is their opportunity to try and get in there. But as I have told them directly, their live streaming experience is terrible. It's, it's terrible from a user standpoint. The chat, is, it sucks. Uh, from mobile, it sucks. They have got to step that game up. And right now with Twitch just actively killing itself... This is the moment right here where if Rumble can actually do something, you might can, can change the game and earn a, a, a whole different demographic over there. It's going to be difficult, but if you don't step that UI up, if you don't fix your mobile and your live chat and your live streaming from a user standpoint, it's never going to happen. So time will tell. But this situation is going to get really, really bad for Twitch. Here's a, in an ideal world, all streamers would be on the same set of terms regardless of size. However, instituting that policy would have a negative impact on the streamers currently on those terms. Um, it's just not going to work what they're doing. If you would have announced a 70-30 split for all streamers on your platform, massive, massive win, massively motivating so many people. Wow, look, Twitch cares about us. Twitch really cares about us. And that's the standard. That's the standard you implemented for the bigger streamers. It's the standard that YouTube operates under. And yet you're going to sit there and go, hey, I know this is the standard for YouTube. I know it's the standard for uh, all the other big streamers we've uh, you know, supported. But now we're going to take away from the big streamers that literally drive our platform. And we're just going to bring them all down to the same level. Massive, massive L for Twitch. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you guys for checking out this video. I appreciate all of you. Have a great day, and we will talk to you later.